give me a happy marriage. That prayer cannot be answered. I'm not cursing anybody. The prayer can only be answered when you have done what you should do. God will not do. You can't ask God in prayer to do what he has already commanded you to do. Praise God. I have friends that we've been together for 30 years plus. Because you see, long term relationship becomes from friend becomes brotherhood. I mean, it becomes sisterhood. So invest in long term relationship. Long term. Ever say long term. Shout long term. Say it again. Say long term. Another one is win win. Win win. Develop relationship with people who wants to win together with you. Who are saying, I, can't, I don't want to win alone. We have to win together. Oh, you need such people in your life. Win-win. You see, some people only want to win. And they want you to keep clapping for them. They don't even think about you. If you're married to a man or a woman who just likes to win and does not think about you and thinks that you just have to keep clapping, you'll be surprised. One day you'll be tired of clapping. Because you're a human being. That's why any husband here who is winning, but is not dragging his wife along to win with him, it is that woman that will pull him back. It's a matter of time. So while you are winning, get your spouse too to win. Do everything possible to make sure she's also winning or he's also winning. Because the man that is not winning beside you is a dangerous man. The woman that is not winning beside you is a dangerous woman. It's just a matter of time. Am I making sense to you? Every employer here, draw a develop win-win relationship with your employees because they are serving under you. They, they too want to win. They too were born from a family. They too have people that are looking up to them. So while you are winning, you, they have to win too. Praise God. If you don't see it like that, you'll be shocked. You'll be losing important relationships. Because when people are not winning for a long time, they become frustrated. And when people are frustrated, they become desperate. And desperate people are the most dangerous human beings. Praise God. So think about the future of your staff too. Think about when they are 50, when they are 60. After they have served you and all their head is full of gray hair. Think about the life. Amen. Praise God. Don't keep everybody around you as slaves. Some people like to keep everybody poor. Everybody should just be poor and be... So that when they wake up in the morning, they just come on their veranda and start throwing money and they'll start picking it. If those are the people that will kill that man. It's a matter of time. One day they will look for him and kill him. Abi? One day they will have the opportunity and they will cut him off. So develop win-win. Every time you are connected with people, don't just think about how you will win. Think about how they too should win. How they too can win. Hmm? Be people mindful. How can I, what can I do so that this, look, even if you don't have cash to give, encourage somebody to win. Give people some applause. You see, do you know that sometimes just giving a call to people and saying, I believe in you. I know you will make it. Do you know that sometimes it can be more than money? Do you know that sometimes money can buy it? I believe in you. I know you will make it. I'm praying for you. I'm standing by you. I, I, I can't stand you lose you. That alone can make a lot of sense. My prayer is that God will give us that heart. So selflessness is one of the key for building effective workplace relationship. Some people... They are working in a place. They are always clapping for them. They don't know that those who are clapping can be tired. So learn to build this kind of relationship. I'm going to run over and continue next Sunday. But please, listen to me. Why God asked me to preach this message is that you're about to step into a new season. It's a season you have never had before in your life. It's a season of surplus. It's a season of plenty. And one thing about plenty is that it attracts all kinds of people. And, and see, God wants you to have built the right relationship around you before the plenty will show up. So that you can have a shield around you. So that you can know that you have people that can, they can, they can, they can, they can how do you say, they say, uh, uh, they, how do you say, some people say, watch my back. They can watch your back. 
people that you know that when you face this direction, they are also watching your back. Quickly, one of the secrets of this church is people. It, you will not know, you will think that you will look at me at times and you will think, oh, Pastor is doing a great work. Yes, yeah, to the glory of God. But look, I have great people that are doing great works. Many things, many church of our size use money to do. We spend nothing to do them. Look, I have friends who have big ministries. They have big money. What they are doing, we are doing. But when I see how much they spend to do it, it shocks me. We spend favor with people. Hallelujah. We needed to renovate our children's church. We called the person that was going to do it for us, a member of this church who does those things. Before I called him the next day, he has started the job with his money. He said, we have started. I said, but we have not given you anything. He said, pastor, you are investing in us. You are building us. I came yesterday. I saw a lot of people walking here. Oh, those who came here, choir, those people you saw walking here like yesterday, we've not paid a dime. Yet, work is going on everywhere. The human capital is the greatest capital. If you, if you don't have it, you don't have anything. No. But I pray for you. God will increase your human capital. Amen. This series will expand your human capital to a level you have never seen before. Amen. Look, we have great people in this ministry. Great people. The last time BJ Sars came here, he saw one of the greatest, one of the biggest video guys in this church, in Nigeria. He saw the first one. He saw the second one. He heard about the third one too. He said, you mean these three people are here? We said, yes. He said, how did pastor get them? God. You know the best thing to do if you want to attract quality people? Be the kind of person you want to attract. The easiest way to attract quality people, I'm going to round up, be that person. Because like attracts like. In the world of relationship, be sincere to, with people. Be honest with people. When you smile, make sure your smile is genuine. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? And when you are angry, make sure your anger is genuine. There's nothing wrong to being, with being angry. But make sure that your heart is clean and pure with people. My prayer for you today is you will never be stranded again. Amen. After this Sunday service, in the name that is above every name, the kind of people you need for the next lifting of your life, God will bring into your life. Amen. Because you become honest, you attract honest people. Amen. Because you are loyal, you will attract loyal people. Amen. Because you are faithful, you will attract faithful people. Amen. Look, my people go to places and they ask them, where are you worshipping from? One of, my, one of my pastor friends, this one is even, this one, I was hearing that, this one yesterday. He said, I needed so, 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 I sent one of my people to him. He said, I needed that one again, I sent another person to him. He said, a pastor, I need somebody, he has a big church too. I said, I, when the third person got there and walked with him after a while, he broke into tears. A man of God that is older than me, he started crying. That one said, he held him and said, sir, why are you crying? He said, what is your pastor doing right that I'm doing wrong? I don't have this kind of people. The first person he sent to me, very honest, very sincere. The second person, the third person, where did he get this kind of people? Even my own people, they align with prices. That's what he said. He said, I'm crying. He said, what am I not doing right? Sometimes, you see, sometimes it's God that makes this happen. So stand up on your feet. He said, such as he has given to me, I want to give to you. Raise, raise up your right hand. Your right, just your right hand. One of the gifts God gives me is the gift of people. I impact into those hands lifted up. Grace of people. Amen. Grace to attract quality people. Amen. Put that hand on your head. Close your eyes. Declare over your life that from today, I will repel evil people. I will repel liars. I will repel deceptive people. I will attract honest people. I will attract faithful, godly people, smart people, spiritual people, sincere people. People that believe in win-win. I will be a people magnet. Good people will love me and like me. When I walk into a room, the presence of God will move in with me. There will be something about my presence from today. When I open my mouth, wisdom will fill my mouth. 
There will be something about the things that come from my mouth from today. Lift up your voice and begin to pray that prayer. Ratastele kalushalia. I'm walking out of this premises today to begin to attract people that matter to my destiny. God sent people. Where I struggle before, I will struggle no more. Where I used to struggle before, I will not... People that will come and terminate my struggle. Bodim bearers. Bodim bearers, Nehemiahs, open your mouth and call them forth. Nehemiahs, builders, bodim bearers, blessing. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. With your hands still on your head, I decree from today. When David walked into the room, Jonathan fell in love with him. And the Bible says it's the heart of Jonathan knit with that of David. It was supernatural. I decree from today, your presence will carry God's presence. Your presence will carry favor. Everywhere you walk into, grace will follow you there. Every time people hear your voice, they will hear grace. From today, I impact your presence with grace. Your presence will be graceful. Amen. Graceful. Amen. Graceful. Amen. Your name will be graceful. Amen. In the name that is above every name from today, I decree you become a people magnet. Amen. Every anti, every bad character, every dishonesty, insincerity in your heart, you'll be delivered from them all. Amen. Whatever will not make all this prayer I've prayed over you to walk, I command that in exit your life. So shall it be. Wave your hands and give him glory. Thank you, Jesus.